What's up guys, welcome to the Physique Development YouTube channel. Today, we have a special one for you. We're going to be training with a Physique Development client. Sydney, go ahead and introduce yourself. Hey guys, I'm Sydney and I've been working with Alex for a whole year now and I'm gonna take him through a glute session today. Very excited, we've got some newer glute stuff and glute stuff that you guys are familiar with and I'm excited to dig in. Okay, so the main thing is you just wanna get far enough to where you still have this as kind of a stable position. Mm -hmm. But as this leg's coming across, I wanna be able to find tension in my glute right now. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to kick back and then I'm going to find kind of that end range for my glute. Mm -hmm. So this Breaking is kind of like as far back as I'm gonna find. Cause mm -hmm. if I go any further, I'm just gonna be counterbalancing rather than getting my glute more shortened. And so the main thing here is making sure that we're kicking out, but then still going back. back. And some individuals are gonna have more mobility through that adductor. So you may be able to kick you know, higher than me uh, because my limiting factor here is that if I kick much higher, like I said, I'm gonna fall forward, but this adductor is like, bruh, this is as far as I can go. Okay. But I still have great tension on my glute med more so. Okay. There you go. Just a, abduct a little bit further, kick more towards me. There you go. That's it. That's yeah, perfect. I can feel that. But the main thing for you is that what we're gonna need to do is get this into position and then what we're gonna be focusing on is more so can, like find this back position and then just continue to sit. Oh, so it's almost like a squat. Yeah. Because if we can get you down just a little bit further, I think we'll be able to get more glute and hamstrings really becoming more of a stabilizer through this. So it's gonna, you're gonna feel more adductor than you have, but I think it's gonna be better from a glute standpoint. Okay. Really sit into it. Yeah, yeah I feel like that, that looks feels... good. And I feel like I'm driving more through my glutes at the top, like with this. Okay. Like where I'm able to. Because yeah, your arc looks good from a, a hip extension standpoint. So I think this is gonna be, this will be good. I'm already sweating. <laughs> probably get going. Okay. Keeping the Apple Watch on too. It's I dedicated. always keep it up like that. Don't ever miss a heart rate. I know. Don't ever miss a calorie burn. <laughs> Gotta see if I'm <laughs> First set of the day, coming in with a banger. <laughs> oh. oh, this is it, baby. This is it. Let's go here. There you go. <laughs> that was better in your first set. Yeah, it felt better. Yeah, it looked better. You just look more confident in yourself. That's really, I'd say the biggest thing is just like <laughs> being confident in the strength that you have as well as it's just not yeah, where you're normally like, holding yeah. the weight.
Oof. So you're a pro at setting it back now. Yeah, I've been doing it for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you want to put a tin on or? Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Are, were you thinking put, keep the plate on? I don't think I can do the plate. <laughs> you think so? I Six? mean, I think you can get four. All right, let's do it. All right, let's do it. Yeah, what's the PR song? I don't have like one that I'm like, this is what I always PR to. It just depends, like, it like. It just depends. Yeah. When I'm Does anything come to mind? No. No? <laughs> <laughs> it's just pitched a little too low. Let's go. There you go. Fuck. All right. I can't. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I'll go and then you go. Okay. Okay. All right. I will take the three and then the 25. All right. Here we go. Oh, jeez. I felt that everywhere. <laughs> All right, you feeling up to 185 again? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. There you go. Good. Good, 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 good. <sighs> Two. Good, good, good. <sighs> Balls and hands. Good, 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 try it, good. Wow. It's so low to the ground, it's like. <laughs> All right, that was, that was a trap bar. Do you like that more than dumbbells? Yeah, I do. I like this trap bar a lot too. Yeah. I feel like getting that deep with dumbbells would be hard. Getting that much weight? Like, yeah, like that close. Yeah. Yeah, like. Yeah, it'd be impossible. All That's... low back. <laughs> yeah, you're like growing out of the, the dumbbells, especially for anything like six and under. Yeah. You know? I'll start with 60s. I don't know about 60s. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll find out. the 60s. That was heavy. How many are you doing? Not 16 or like, it was only like 10 one way. You, I, th I think I started further back than you or something. I started at the garbage can. I started in the trees. I'm, like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure I got to 16. I think you cheated. it. But how far you're going, I'm a little unsure that and I got to 16. And you have longer legs, so like. Allegedly. I probably didn't get 16. How did those look? <laughs> huh? How did those look? Or was I doing no, too much good. momentum? No, 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 I think they were good. Um, I think your left leg looks like you've got more mobility. Do you feel that way? Yeah. Like I feel like your stride and your it's hip better. Yeah, flexion like through here. and your left side is better. Yeah. Your right side feels like it's like, or it looks like it's like almost impinged to where you stride and then your hips like kind of locked up and you're just yeah. almost falling forward. 
Have you noticed that? Or is that, well, for your posing. Yeah, I feel like that's kind of. For your posing. Even like when I do a kickback, I feel it better in my left. Interesting. But you're posing on your right side. Yeah, like this. Yeah. Which could make sense because you're kind of just like, like contorting that side. That hip, yeah. You're like, you're bring, you're, you're yeah. pitching that hip. That makes sense. You got out of the sun. All right, round two. All right, who's counting my Yeah, make sure you lunges. don't cheat this time. I think my delts lifted those last ones. <laughs> ah. Oh my God. Sydney is one improvement season away from getting her pro card. And so next time you guys see her on stage, her glutes are gonna be massive. It's gonna be wild. And this, you know, the session could be the catalyst for that happening. <laughs> one more set. Yeah. Whew. What are you going for? I think you should go for 60. 60? I think you can do it. I agree. I'm a soft on these. You can definitely match me, if not beat me on these. All right. Lean into that left hip. Kind of sit back in that left hip. There you go. Can't see anything. I know. I have so much sweat in my eyes. Same. Who wrote this? This is stupid. Yeah, who put these together? <laughs> Sets of <laughs> That'd be this guy. For, for pad height, you're wanting that to be right at your upper quad. So if you, that's gonna probably, go ahead and lay in there. It's probably gonna be too tall. But you can kind oh, of. Oh, see, I've never like had that adjustment. Exactly, the... they're the only company that does it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, at, that's like gonna be too now hard. you can see because if you were trying to let the pel uh, let your pelvis rotate, if you went down, your pelvis isn't you're you're cut off because of that pad, right? Yeah. So the more that we can bring that pad down is going to allow for your pelvis to have better rotation, and we can have better ability to get into hip extension and rotate to get your glutes in full flexion. Okay rather than it being higher up, not a yeah. bad thing, it's just gonna be more hamstrings. Yeah. So that's the thing, because most gyms are gonna be yeah, too tall. Yeah, like the lowest they can go, you still can't get Exactly. It you can have a little bit of external rotation at the foot. I like to have a, a, just a slight bit. It feels better to me. Yeah, that's what I usually do. <clears throat> the other aspect for you is that when you feel fresh to do another round, the one cue as you start to now, like extension at the lower back isn't a bad thing, but the more that we can have you a little bit more rounded through your yeah. like lower back, the better we're gonna probably be. So it's gonna be something where as you start to fail, you're gonna start to kind of extend here mm -hmm. and just keep like reinforcing to, to crunch down to try and have better bias okay. on the glutes I think themselves. That's what I usually do. Well, I haven't done these in a while, but yeah. Right. Like extension extension's not a bad thing. It's just that if we're trying to prioritize glutes, mm -hmm. we're better off being a little bit more rounded to neutral rather than seeing the extension. Okay, I'll do a few that way. There you go. You may have a little bit more. Keep coming up, keep coming, keep coming. There, that's it. That's your top spot there. Woo! 
<laughs> it's not so much that you're putting your foot down too soon. It's more of like people like catapulting themselves okay. off the back okay. of it is more of it. And I think that I teach it more with putting your foot down at the last second. Just so. Because it kind of reinforces it yeah. almost. It makes it confusing sometimes to like the people who get it, get yeah. it. But to the people who are like just gathering it, it yeah. makes sense that or way it's too. like the RDL thing that you always say. Exactly. Like the driving forward. Exactly. How was that after the walking line? Abnormally heavy. <laughs> Abnormally heavy. There you go. You can try it a little bit further back. There you go. Don't be afraid of knee flexion here. I think that's maybe the thing that you're trying to deter from. Okay. Be okay with having a little bit more knee flexion if it means that you can get, get deeper into it. Okay. There you go. Yeah. I think you can handle the 25 for sure. Do time for it. But I could be optimistic, kind of like your yeah. yell earlier. What do, you, what do you want to do for your next training phase? Yeah. Coming out of the strength work, you've got options for sure. You said hypertrophy, right? We could, yeah. Is, yeah. is that what you want to do? Yeah. Okay. This was harder than Tuesday's session. Tuesday, yeah, Tuesday. Uh, Tucker, <laughs> Tucker just lays in here normally. He either lays on the driveway, but Gus will, he- Like get, run around. Yeah, Gus gets hot. He wants to go inside. You got a 45 on the uh, on the leg press behind you. Okay. This is very bold. Have you heard uh, Antonio Brown's new song? Put that shit on. <laughs> Put that shit on. Oh. We did. We did, we did. Just a little sweaty. Just oh, a little sweaty. Nice. How was the session? Great. <laughs>
<laughs> that is it. Uh, that was the, the five movements that destroyed us. I can assure you no more glute volume is necessary um, with the three sets of six to eight on everything that you guys saw today will be sufficient. Crazy glute pump. I would like to thank you yeah. for coming to train with us. <laughs> if you guys want to learn more about Sydney, we will have her Instagram and other handles in the description as well as her podcast will be a video just before this one. So go and check that out. Thanks for training with us today and we'll catch you in the next one.